Hi everyone, welcome to Everyday Stamping Facebook Live. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I'm so glad you are here. If you are watching replay on YouTube, I'm so happy you are watching. And today's project is this Blessings of Homes, this beautiful stamp set which is going to be uh, retiring soon, May 1st, and now it's really discount price, it's a great deal, actually this stamp set is now $10, so I am going to use this one to do the water coloring, and the water coloring is very easy if you use this great outline stamp set, so let's get started, I'm going to flip the camera, stay there, Ah, Yoko-san, Yoko-san, ohayou gozaimasu, arigatou gozaimasu. Kamera o ugokashimasu. ゆうこさん、先ほどはお疲れ様でした。ライブね。私車の中で車の中運転しながら見てたのでね、なかなかコメント残せなかったんですけどね。あの、あのうさぎちゃんとかね、くまさんのね、スタンプセットすごく可
they see me well? Good. Okay. はい、ようこそミスティムナイト戻ってきましたよ。ね、ブルーがね、すごい今年もいろんな組み合わせができるブルーがたくさん入りました。はい。はい、じゃあステイズオン。Okay, let's do the stay z o n When you do the water coloring, we need a,、uh, this permanent ink. So that way,、uh, when you color the This black ink don't bleed.、Um, bleed. Beautiful, nice, and then this is very important when you use a stay zone, you need to have the stay zone cleaner to clean、um, this stamp, otherwise, you are going to have the、uh, all those black little b l i s t and You need a stamping, stamping scrub. Let's just clean up here. See, it's clean. And then I use the、uh, stamping chamois to clean up, take off, take off this、uh, stays on cleaner solution because.、Uh, It's no good idea to have that solution over this red rubber s stamp. It's going to ruin. So, okay, so this is good. All right. Okay, now, now I'm going to color this first. All, always, always start the,、um, when you are doing coloring, always start in a light color. So, this case, I am going to pale papaya first. Taking a clear box, just press down. So, right here, I get a little、um, pale papaya ink there. And、um, I am going to use a water painter. The medium size, and I need a、um, okay. Here is the、um, paper towel, it's a little too far. Should, should I bring it down? Okay, now I'm going to squeeze a little bit water here. It's already you,、um, we have、uh, those outlines of the flower, so just stay near those images, just、uh, fill in a、uh, color here and there. You can go back a little more color and get a little darker. Squeeze in the water here, the, the, right here in the、um, sticks has the water in it. So when you squeeze, water kind of dripping from here, and then you just wash like this. Okay, next, next color would be fresh freezer. Just press down like this here. Now I got the fresh freezer on a clear b r o c k
squeeze a little bit and then you open the water here. Okay. Really like her. And uh, try to not to touch the where you color with the pale papaya, otherwise color is going to mix. So you wanna stay not touching that area. Always start light and then you can add a color more if you want to you just go back add the color more but if you add a really strong color it's very difficult to take off now i'm adding a little bit darker color here I'm adding a darker color. Use the uh, those um, stamp image as a guide. This stamp set has already shadow on the stamp, so just those darker color you can add uh, those shadow area. Alright, I'm doing it very quickly because it's live, but you know, coloring is actually very therapeutic um, activity. So you can take a time and you know, relax and then enjoy listen to nice piano music, and so that way, you know, take a time to just enjoy. All right. Now, next one is Misty Moonlight. So I'm gonna get the little ink here. Okay. And squeeze a little water. Okay. Make sure it's not too dark. And don't worry about if you have a little bit missing us coloring some area you have a white area that's okay that's kind of coloring it's good to have uh, those white area as well I'm going going back uh, adding more color once it get dry. So I'm gonna move on next flower here. That's a blue flower. All right, I am going back, add a little darker color here using, oh, that's really dark. Using um, those stamp image as a guide.
looking good. And the next card out would be um, Garden Green. <laughs> I just ordered a new ink pot in the Garden Green. I still have the old version, but this works really good. Okay, let me paste that. Squeezing a squeeze and paint a stick right here, and then let me add a car. Oh, I missed the purple flower here. I had to add a purple flower. Okay. I'm very focused. Sorry, I'm not charting in today. <laughs> um, so you just, this is a garden green. Adding Kara, just gonna use the uh, those stamp image as a guide. Basically, you can just fill it in. So it's not difficult in the water coloring. You just need to get used to it. I cannot draw like this, but it's easy if you have a stamp image like this, and then you basically you just fill it in the color. I love watercoloring. So pretty. Actually, my son and my husband's taking art class right now. They are they are doing a Wednesday night in a paint class, and then Monday is a pottery cross they really enjoy okay, and now I am adding a little darker color okay okay I missed uh, some flower here, so I need to go back and add a little flower. I'm washing more um, paint paint brush just in case in you know, this green color mixed up in you know, this yellow here. Okay, that's a pale papaya. And then let me go. Fresh Frisian. Gosh, I can't. <laughs> I can't think. <laughs> All right, Fresh Frisian here. Try to not touch in it. Um, different area, the different colors. So I just want to have a nice clean color here. All right. Okay. Then. Lastly, I use a crumb cake to add in a background and crumb cake is here, okay. That's done. Crumb cake here. And then just a little bit in the background. This crumb cake it has a little green tone in it. So give it a little shadow in here. Some dust. Okay. And water coloring, you don't need to be exact. Exactly. So just some area might be bleeding. That's okay. Just 
add in a darker color, lighter color. Just wanna give it a little bit shadow in the background. little bit closer I go I go close to the image as much as possible but but not touching there because I don't want to mix the color all right is it good okay it took maybe 20 minutes or so okay Let's see all right so now oops I didn't mean to spend all this much time for the <laughs> this um, that section. Now I need a sentiment. Let's see. I need a sentiment. Let's stamp. I'm going to use a heat embossing here. Let's see. I thought I cut the paper. moonlight let me cut just a quarter quarter inch no I'm sorry half inch that's a, that would cover here okay and then here's the embossing body need a sentiment have a perfect birthday okay hopefully it's straight oh I don't like it yeah little click it let me try again Maybe I imagine something click it. Okay. That's much better a little bit ink too much but that's okay all right white heat embossing powder and then I am going to use Pico. You know what? I do have one already. I thought so. <laughs> because, all right, let me switch that because uh, this is much better. All right, then that's the way I need a embossy. I couldn't find it. I just find it. All right. I am going to mount here. I need the uh, dimension. Mini dimensional. Right here. Couple of those 
way. I think it's a pie here. It's a Thursday, Thursday evening. I'm sorry. I'm s I cannot talk today. It's my uh my brain's not working. It's been a long week. It's just getting busier, busier now. Okay. Nice, right? Right here. Then any excess, you just use a paper snip to cut. All right. Then let's bring in the um, this is a misty moonlight half seed of the cow stock five and a half and eight and a half. And then I am going to bring in beautiful, beautiful brown paper. This called the um brown basic 12 by 12 specialty designer series paper this is going to be retiring too so um i think it's already discount price it has a uh, three different patterns no it's uh leaves and um stripes and i think it's a polka dot this one so pretty I love their own it's such an elegant look give an elegant look so okay I'm gonna use this leaves here leaf pattern then I'm gonna use a stamping seal okay. so bear and paper you have to be very careful what you use for the adhesive because it you can see through like this. But today I am going to mount the um, focal point so it will hide. Okay. All right, that's me. I am going to use Whisper White Crinkle Ribbon. Oh, I forgot the embellishment. I had the other embellishment, right? Okay, here's a ribbon. Always cut the ribbons and the angle so that doesn't get fringe. Okay, and then mini glue dot. All right, let me look for the uh, embarrassment, something good. Wait, um, or maybe this is a pretty flat adhesive pearl. Or oh, basic pearl might be nice. Well, actually, I'm looking for those clear ones. choices of this part or this part or clear one um elegant first first set jams part basic jewel and a flat adhesive back the parts all right 
Let's see which one's good. Hmm. Not too shiny. Maybe I'll go with this basic power. In the basic power, you can use the brains marker to add the color so that if you like to get a bit of a color on the basic power here. Alright. Here I, I want to use. largest one this is a medium size and this is a smaller one okay maybe I'll add more maybe maybe here okay, okay. like it okay so this stamp set has a um, die dies to go with it and you can cut up the flowers there and this is now 1280 and the stamp set is a tender so this is a real bargain just the last chance product and let me show you. I was going to use um, some die cut out flowers. I use in a vellum, I cut out like this. I was going to add in here, but I think just get the too busy. So this time I didn't use, but I'm looking for some designs. And then even these um, leaves, I cut up the uh, watercolor paper and then I just added colors in it, um, when I'm coloring at these flowers but I thought that this flower is already really pretty so I just keep it simple and then this one is I just repeatedly stamp the image and add the color same way same vellum here is with the stripes and inside and it has a stamp too this one inside has a stamp like that all right um, I'm going to show you a little bit about new catalog product. I can't show you inside yet. Um, but uh, uh, here is the uh, couple of things I, I like to share. Look at new colors. Look at this. My upline Robin made this 2023 color refresh. So we got the, those new ink colors, five of them. Papa Grey, White, Wheat, Boho Blue, Moody Mauve, I don't know how to pronounce Moody Mauve, Pebble Bath, and the new colors, new core colors, Azure, I think that Azure, I'm I'm not sure again, I'm not, I'm pronounced right or not, Azure Afternoon, and the Bubble Bath, that's pink, called the Bubble Bath, so it's a pretty, Lemon Rory, Pecan Pie, that, Company looks so good, and then returning core colors. So, so these colors used to be uh, in colors blueberry basho, lemon lime twist, berry burst, pretty peacock, rose lagoon, misty moonlight, fresh freezer. Fresh freezer was just uh, in color in the last year, and now move up to the core colors from this year. So, this is the color. So you can go to the uh, my uh, link, uh, if the Instagram and my uh, profile, uh, Facebook, it's like uh, my first page on the, um, my everyday stamping um, page. Uh, there is a link. Uh, I posted those color chart. Uh, this is a color combination chart. Um, you can go through like say crumb cake um you use uh, two other cars to go with crumb cake and this is uh all done by stamping up so it's good to have when you're creating the uh cars and you can choose uh, those color combination for your cars so that's all 50 cars in this day and you 
some people could just cut up in here and then do the bundle uh do put in the rings so you can flip around but i usually keep it just like this i just look like this it's for me easier and other things new things in which i really happy stamping up create this annual catalog like a color chart like a cover so so they show this chart show what color was used in a uh, cover page so they have or like a page one page six to seven fourteen to fifteen so i don't know how many pages in here so what you can do is from this color combination you can use like three colors from here like so three colors from here or you choose ra randomly three colors here because it's already coordinated so you can go very well so look at that so this is like a nice soft color combinations and let me show you this week uh, I had a, a Tuesday and a Wednesday I had a stamp session uh, Tuesday was all demonstrators my downlines and uplines and side side lines uh, we got together and playing with a new products it was so much fun. Stamping up is not ink and paper. It's in, stamping up is an experience. We share experience. We share the passion for the paper crafting. We, we, um, we, I was so happy just, you know, the stamping together with those ladies. And so look at, look at this, like page 62, 63, uh, those blue color combination and um, crown cake way to see the uh, new catalog if you don't have a new catalog um send me a message i will send you a copy uh for free uh if you are as long as you are in the u.s the card we made um look at this it's a pretty this is a boho blue and it has the about me blue boho blue misty moonlight night of navy and a crumb cake and I had look at this this uh embossing folder oh, you know what let me take it off take it out from the i just cover uh protect because um the sample i made here is that pretty and here's the other like landscape version here so the designer sheet is actually this part is a designer sheet paper and way to see the designer sheet paper it's just so gorgeous i will post actually i i made this on a, in, this week's instagram so i will post my youtube sometime this weekend and the other card we made is this one this one is i think that right here the color combination right here or maybe right here 16 14 to 15. so this is a new sleeves i think it's beautiful balloons mm. it's that pretty and then look at this it has a die to cut like this now all fringes it's a fun yes I can show you the inside the catalog uh, before May 2nd, but um, if you have a catalog, you know, those are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Okay. Um, thank you so much for joining me. And if you're re watching replay again, thank you so much for watching replay. I am so happy you're here. If you have any questions and requests, please let me know please uh send me a message and i hope you will get this beautiful stamp set uh for just ten dollars till may 1st so you you can enjoy those water coloring so all right i hope you like the project and then leave a message thank you so much have a good weekend and i'll see you next week bye now